Helps if I unmute the microphone, doesn't it? But uh, hello, everybody. Give me just a second. Couple of last minute things. Figured it'd be better I went live right at four rather than making you guys wait a bit. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. Hello. Um, what am I looking for? All right, so I have, I am live. I can hear myself here. Let me make sure I'm, yep, I'm sounding good. Okay. And quickly checking a couple of things. Um, oh, 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 I need to turn that down a bit. Just a bit. I don't know how that'll be, but, um, and these are all set up and properly set up so that I can be, so I can see things. Um, but yes, hello everybody and welcome back to, for more Spookmas. Um, it is September 21. We're getting really, we're yet another week, uh, we're getting closer and closer. There we go. Uh, to Halloween. Um, and, uh, for those of you who don't know, what I'm calling Spookmas is the range of, uh, last Monday and Tuesday through November 16th. Uh, and it's during that time that instead of my normal stuff, playing Assassin's Creed or Tomb Raider or, uh, whatever else, um, I am mo mainly playing horror games like Man of Medan down here, down here. Uh, before we start, though, um, let me take, let's take a second. Hydrate. Hydration is important. I don't know if you guys can hear her. There is a screaming cat down around my feet. He says, hi. Hi. I would pick her up and show you guys, but if, uh, but, um, but, uh, she, she does not do up. She does not do cuddles. And I don't want to, and she knows better than to get up on my desk. Um, but, uh, anyway, um, but yes, take a second, hydrate, uh, stretch, um, make sure to check your posture. Oh, my back has been, I've been really lax with that today because my back is not happy with me but you know it is it'd be like that sometimes um and uh don't forget to uh unclench anything you may be clenching your jaw or your whatever else um especially because as it's a horror game there may be clenching involved so Speaking of, it being a horror game, there is a, oops, wait, bear with me a second, because I just realized I totally forgot to swap, uh, there we go, uh, being a horror game, there is, uh, certain imageries and things like that, that the, that these, that the genre tends to show, and as such, yes, Sasha, no, you do not play with the cord. Um, the certain industry, certain imageries and dis uh, disturbing imagery, triggering content, things like that, often included within. Um, I have not played most of these games that I'm playing for Spookmas before. Um, some of them I know I've seen some gameplay of. Uh, some of them I know the basic storyline. Some of them I know the basic lore. Like Resident Evil, I'm familiar with the lore, even though I've never actually played any of the games. Um. But, uh, hey, Konoko, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. Um, you started a new job, right? How's that going? Um, but yes, with the content warning in mind, let me quickly, before I forget, pop that up there. Uh, this is all I could find in regards to content warning for the game we'll be playing today. Um, which is Man of Medan. Um, part of the Dark, Dark Pictures Anthology. 
Uh, you start on Thursday. Got it. Got it. Uh, did you have a good holiday? Um, but yes, because of these up here, make sure that if, if you're sensitive to any of these or you're not sure if you're sensitive to any of these, make sure to do what you need to do in order to protect and care for yourself. Um, and if that means not watching my stream, then please take care of yourself. <laughs> it's better for you to take care of yourself than for you guys to be my to be my viewers. I promise. I'll miss you, but I promise. Uh, it was lovely. Cool. Did you do anything for fun? Uh, anything fun for your holiday? Um. All right. Yes. All right. It's it was well needed. I bet. I bet. Um, I'm going to quickly throw up a 30 second ad and then we will, as I get Man of Medan actually ready, and then we'll get started. All right, so for anybody who's not familiar with these games, um, I'm only passingly familiar. Uh, the Dark P Pictures Anthology is a series of uh, horror games, basically. As far as I know, they're not directly connected, except that they have an overreaching narrator. Um, and like there's, um, I forget, there's currently three out, I think, or the third one is coming out this year or something. Um, but I only have access. To, I only have the first one. Um, uh, you can play them with friends, um, or others, uh, where you each take control of different characters at different times and things like that. It can be a whole thing. Uh, however, I'm going to be doing this alone, so we'll see what happens. Um, sorry, I just have a quick. Yeah, I had a. I am slightly allergic to my cats, and because she's hanging out here and I've been scratching her, I have to be careful about touching my face. Um. Yeah, so let's get let's get started. I have not, as you can see, I've literally not even. Ooh, there's a curator's cut, unlocked when theatrical cut is complete. It's an alternate path. Ooh, well, I'm looking forward to that. Jeez. Um. But yeah, let's start with the theatrical cut. I'm excited. But yes, Kanoko, uh, did you do anything uh, specifically fun or anything for that, like that for your holiday? Go anywhere special? See anyone special? Etc. I'm not trying to pry or anything. I'm just curious. Oh. There we go. Thank you for the warning, or the heads up. I caught it like just before I saw your message. I don't always forget. I was on it yesterday. I'm just so eager to get into this game. Ooh, military deaths. That's always a good start. We better mosey on back to the ship. Mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend Who to. Who calls himself Charlie Charming? Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's Yo, Dockside Market, Manchuria, 912. You got a question to ask the tiles. Interesting. 
Um, okay. Use mouse to choose. Got it. Uh, say nothing. Tell me about my son. Oh, he's got a son. Or will I be rich? Um, uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work Aww. out for him? You went to Cornwall with your partner. Oh, that sounds like, like a lot of, uh... Welcome, Desi. Glad you could make it. And it's okay. It's okay that you missed, missed last night. It. I'm still in the spook mist thing, so you you're, feel free to dip out. Although, to my knowledge, there shouldn't be anything spidery in these. Um, went down to Cornwall, partner. I ride part of that. Uh, still a bit busy. Yeah, that's fair. School holidays are over. Yeah. Well, you had fun, and that's what matters, Kanoko. Um, okay, dragon tile, bamboo tile. Hmm... Dragon. Press and hold to pick up objects and then examine. It the fish. Looks like a fish. Yeah. Death and doom are sure to follow. Death. Aww. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Calm down, man. Everybody's gonna die. Traits are updated. Hey, Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? You know be need the Can you do better than your friend? Fight? Sure. Let me know the quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. Oh, it's a bunch of quick time events. Okay. Ooh. Almost misclicked. Oh, wrong button. Ouch. Have a nice day. But yes, welcome everybody. We better welcome, welcome. Ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Aw. Traits are updated. Okay. Give me just a second. I hope I didn't just skip that accidentally. Game audio is a little loud. Oh, you can pause. Good, good, good. All right. We'll see how that is. There's a skull and crossbones on it. That's always good. <laughs> yeah, it, it's always good when your cargo boxes have skulls and crossbones on them.
I don't know many My volume is very low. Give me a second then. Um, testing, test, just the game audio. Okay, so I did, tu I turned it down too low. Okay. Well, in that sp specific scene, there was a lot of background noise and I could barely hear what they were saying too. But, um, all right, we'll try that. That's lower than what it was previously on, but higher than where it was. Ooh, nope. Wow. Okay. I know that's like a peak, but still, because that went up into the yellow. That's not good. Uh, we'll try that. Oh, the skull and crossbones crates got struck by lightning. How's that sounding, Kanoko? Sounding any better? Good. Uh oh. That that that, however, is not good. June second, one thirty six AM. Okay. Two pops. Come back soon. Aw. Right. Ooh, something shiny over here. What's in here? Oh, well, sucks for the doctor. There's a key, however. Key for what? Does it say? Probably, probably the sick bay. Can I interact with this anywhere? No, apparently not. At least not, not yet. At least maybe. Okay, so let's see. What what are these character traits that have been popping up a couple of times now? All right, so Joe, um, altruistic, selfish, insecure, and reckless. Okay. Find a way to escape the sick bay. There's a bunch of secrets. That's a bunch of secrets. Damn. Okay. Bearings. No idea what those are. Pictures. Okay. I wonder if this is like Life is Strange where you have to take the picture in order to get the picture. Um. Lol. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go. <clears throat> all right. It's a more or less fixed camera angle type of thing, at least in this spe specific, yeah, specific instance. Okay. I doubt there was anything more with the picture. 
they had a padlock on that door. Damn. Then how did the doctor die? If the doctor... Oh, unless he shoved himself in the in the thing and then killed himself. But it didn't look like he shot himself or something like that. Interesting. What is this way? I'm loving the graphics. I didn't, I mean, I didn't want to go back in there, but. What is, can I go that way? Apparently not. He's just looking at it. Oh, right, 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 right. No shit, something's wrong. Do I only have Joe? Apparently I only have Joe. John Coleman Ferris, Sergeant. Charles Anderson, Private. And that private... Uh, in that private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did... Uh, display intoxication in a manner not befit a becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of th the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. I mean, fair. That's kind of exactly what happened. Wait, there's a safe? Can I open that? Do you not know the code? I wonder if I'll pick the code up later, like Resident Evil, have to come back and open it. <laughs> Probably not. Um, that is empty. Oh, nope. Here we go. Yet another piece of paper. Okay. Brig Week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, Private Petty uh, petty Theft, One Day Brig, Small Items Belonging to Senior Officer Found in Miller's Locker. Items Recovered and Returned to Owner. Wednesday, David Davis, Private Trespass, uh, Two Days Brig Found Off Limits in Cargo Hold 3A with No Reason to Be There. Flagrant Disregard for Orders. Friday, PFC, Lewis Brand, Public Intoxication, One Day Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Before I examine the obvious blood stain on the wall, um, I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in a short amount of time. BRB. If I can remember the button. All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that. 
turn myself down on my phone. Okay. What is this blood stain? Could it be possibly a blood stain? Or perhaps is it just like Kool Aid? <clears throat> Can I just like lock myself in the brig? So nothing else interacts with it in here for now. What's up, Charlie? Are you hold on, if I go back this way, are you gonna follow me? Apparently not, no. Well, actually I do want to actually go back and look at that corpse again. Make sure it's still there. Oh, nope. Uh, that's a bulletin board. This is the room I want. All right. Yep, oh, still there. All right. Bruh. Bruh. Through the door, please. Thank you. Fixed camera controls can be a little problematic. I mean, I do like the angles they give. It's very cinematic, but hold on. Can I interact with him? It is a very cinematic experience right now, but nope. Okay, so I can't talk to him. <laughs> Press S in time with the heartbeat, okay? Interesting. What the hell? How about not talking, Charlie? We don't need him coming back. Okay, so there's the brig. So that's where we came from. Can I do anything here? Nope, that's not a door. That's bulkhead. Got it. Go here. Locked. Probably for the best. <clears throat> Come on. There you go, Joe. What was that? Was that a child? <sighs> a child. All right, so he's looking at that. I'm going to go down here. What is? Hey, Charlie, help! Help! Hey, Charlie, help! Fuck no! Yeah. yeah. You said it. Fubar and that song. Blue bar and then some. All right, I'm actually gonna go back because I want to go see what Charlie was looking at. Oh, won't let me. Darn. Okay. Oh well. Hopefully it wasn't important. Oh, I see the green mist that was 
the green mist from the uh, fish with the lucky the skull and crossbow. Oh, damn it, Buckley! Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Hmm. Yeah, he died very, very similarly to. Hold on, just a second. Very similarly to the, uh, to the what, uh, to the doc. Okay, so it must not be anything that way. Can I get anything off his body? Maybe. No, it doesn't look to be anything interactable on him. Um. Hold shift to walk faster. I kind of have been game. Okay. So, uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Right You're only now getting that strange feeling? Could give him his 50 cents back. Maybe he'll stop being an asshole then. These guys look like they've had a really relaxing day. Get over here. Ah, so some of them did get shot. Others were not lucky. Oh. Nope, not going to shoot. Okay, now I kind of wish I shot the kid. We'll see. Will it punish me for that or is that just going to take it and run with it? Cuz that kid looked a lot like the guy's son. And so role playing it, I don't think he would have been able to pull the trigger on his son. Until the sc scary skull face happened. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Oh, 
this is fine. This is fine. This is all fine and good. Tiny ass cross ain't gonna save you from shit, man. Time to find out if this is uh, stream appropriate music. Probably not. So what I'm going to do, we'll, we'll pause that real quick. Oh, and they don't happen to have like a stream safe option, do they? Probably not. Uh, audio and language. Nah. Unless there's a thing that I have to do it pretty early on, like on the main menu. But I didn't see it when I was looking earlier. So let's uh, let's just I'm gonna quickly do that. Mute the game audio, just in case. Yep, that was the intro I completed. I saw Sean Ashmore's name in the credits a bit ago. Oh wait, no, I knew that. That's right. He's one of the main characters from the from this game. That's right. I'd forgotten that. But I knew that. I knew that, but I'd forgotten it. He's kinda in the trailers and stuff. Oh look, a ring a ring girl. Yeah, there's a this is this guy is walking down the hall to some shadowy images with some really rock ass music happening right now. Uh, Sean Ashmore is an Iceman, yeah, as as in Bobby Iceman uh, from X Men, and um, oh shit, what else has he been in? He's been in all kinds of stuff. He's really great. Oh, he was in um, oh what was it? Uh. Uh, qu not Quantum Leap. Um, fuck, I'm blanking on it. Uh, let me look, because I'm completely blanking on the name of the game. Yeah, Sean Ashmore is great. Okay. I'm just going to pause you right there and do that. Hello. Welcome. Um, rep repository. IMDb has Sean Ashmore credited for sixty nine things. I am the curator, the curator nice. Of Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Quantum Break, that's what it is. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Eh, unless you're a millennial. As in life. The actions you take matter. The choices you make... That got a little dark. I'm sorry. Others. 
I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. Hmm. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Hopefully I don't get silenced for DDS EDA happening. I don't think so. I think Mozart's out of out of license, but I don't know. Depends. But um yeah, Sean Ashmore, Iceman from the X-Men series. He's also in the the Quantum uh I was just reading it, Quantum Break series. Uh most recently, uh he's in one of my new favorite shows, The Rookie, with which stars Nathan Fillion. It does uh, it's a cop show, but it does a really good job. Really good job of showing um like not just mostly realistic police work, but also, you know, taking a stand against the state of American policing. Yeah, it's it's a cop show who's saying whose stance is defund the police. And it is exactly as awesome as that sounds. And it stars Nathan Fillion. So it's exactly as awesome as that sounds. Um, and Sean Ashmore makes an appearance in it, and he's great as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and resume this. Witty, Brad, Alex's brother, Innocent. Brad Duke, Duke of Milan. Ah, he's a duke. Oh, the ship's name is Duke of Milan. Got it. I was going to say, how is he a Duke of Milan? Alex, that's his brother. Julia's boyfriend. Okay, motivated and insecure. Like most jocks. Think we got enough? We, we got out, nerd, we got jock. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh... Yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Ooh. Both embarrassing. It's, it's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Don't be a dick. Uh, am I streaming tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. Dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro. Be cool. What? Um, actually, that's a very good question. Hold on, just a second. It's Wednesday. Normally, I wouldn't be, but it might be the Terraria. Uh, unless I can. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow would be the normal the normal Terraria day. So I will be streaming a bit later than usual, unless uh, Yvonne B and Melador219 are not up for it. Um, it will be uh, Wednesday time is 5 to 7, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow, and it'll be Terraria. You know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? Don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Don't be a dick. I was invited. Oh, man. I'm not good with people, or I was invited. I was invited. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? That's an invite. Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. <laughs> Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I had Sorry, to I'm sneeze. Snappy. I'm just... Can you 
medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, <laughs> the long distance thing, Julia. Oof. It's been rough. Oof. Yeah, I gotcha. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? Not an excuse to be a dick, yep. but. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. your input on something yeah what it's a uh, kind of a big thing i'm trying to make a decision about about finishing med school no but it's just kind of a big life choice you know he's debating about proposing what do you want to bet thing to do hmm go if i'm right gut. go with your gut if it's right you'll know He's not wrong. Hey. Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, excited and reckless. Conrad, foolhardy and relaxed, Julia's brother. And there's Sean Ashmore in full CGI gloriousness. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Connie. Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey, Bradley. Oh. Like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah. Uh, likewise. Aww. Hey, man. This is adorable. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Uh, uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with you. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. I, I love beer. Aww. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the Bradical. Uh, it's Jib. Don't ruin it. Me. <laughs> you seen me diving before? Uh. Um. No, actually. Yeah, better not to lie about that. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry. Must we call it that? Be uh, Must we? <laughs> Yet another jock. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Bliss, captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous and impatient. I love her already. <laughs> you to make yourselves at home but uh so is everybody on board and ready to go uh you're selling i'm buying yeah i don't think she is bruh Sorry about that. I get it all out. pushed the wrong button. Not pushed the wrong button. I moved the wrong thing and bumped it into it. And bumped my uh, mic stand into a thing. Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Poor Alex. Or not Alex. Fuck. I don't even remember which one's which right now. Over here. This is Alex. So. Brad or whatever. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck they're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad, that's, that's right. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Ooh. 
Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Oh, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Cliff, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? She just said not to touch anything. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tank. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Yeah, he probably should. All right, let's um take a quick look. Alex is impatient, eager, insecure, and motivated. Secret bearings. Ah, there is an a there is a proposal. Brad told Alex to follow his gut. Okay. And then here are the pictures that I have yet to actually gather any of. Uh, these are probably relationship statuses. Uh, wait for Julia to finish her preparing the tanks. Uh, Brad. Okay. Okay. Does this move? Okay. Alex was disappointed with Fliss. Alex was frustrated with Fliss. Okay. Conrad and Alex don't have much. Brad now. Brad empathized with Alex. Brad was offended that he is considered a tag along. Brad felt insecure after Alex said he is embarrassed of him. Oh. You're either motivated and patient. Okay. All right. <clears throat> There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hmm. Us. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah sorry about before everybody's just a little we've been planning this whole thing for a while now i get it but there are rules and laws and customs these rules are all pretty basic stuff how much experience do you have with these kind of dives i've dived a couple wrecks over the years i'm an expert but you know experience if this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I'm going to say nothing. I don't like either of those two options. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. I mean, that's fair. Let's acknowledge that he has some experience. Alex apologized. Okay. All right. 
What's... I didn't exactly mean... Do you know mean... how to use that? Uh... No. Not really. Then don't touch it. I wanna just let it do its thing. Can I turn it back on? Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Okay. This doesn't look kosher. So she can do conduct dive classes, it looks like. Which is good for Brad. Right, no, I should check on... Uh, no, I'm not going to check on... Oh, I didn't want to go down there yet, game. 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 Fine. What am I looking at here? Oh, I bet this is my first picture to find. You got to go? All right. Uh, thank you for stopping in for as long as you could. And um, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Later. Looks kind of like the boat in flames or a boat in flames. Yeah. Ooh, Brad finding somebody dead. Or possibly killing somebody? Shoot. I didn't want to look at that again. Dude, tanks are ready when you are. Well, I'm not. I need to check on my brother. What's up? My Bruda. How you doing? Sorry, that Drewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. It was more than that, just a script trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Aww. I will probably be checking this after every single thing. Ooh, what's that? Hey. No. What's that? Probably the captain's cabin. Anything else? Does not appear to be anything else. Alright, let's go talk to Conrad, maybe? Want to talk to Fliss about? Hey. Hello. Apparently not. more to interact with. The front. That's the gap. Okay. Anything else to interact with? Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. 
I feel like he's not going to behave. Camera or baton? I'll take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. They are kind of adorable. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post uh, special. Are you going to bring your bang stick? <laughs> that Ooh. front cabin is going to pop its portholes. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. It'd be a shock. Too bad the place is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. I mean, I one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell I mean, <laughs> it's not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. Hey, I mean, that shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa, that is like way bigger than I thought. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh into your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Hmm. No. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Time to stay professional. Nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took a <laughs> if you're interested. I love her. Family can make an investment in your business. No. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat, and that's all the help I need. You you don't Thanks. flirt by offering money. You know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Okay. We'll leave that on for now. All right. Let's head down. Make sure everything's all good down below the deck. Oh, there was something. Oh, cool. There we go. Yeah, Miss Dubois. Letter is formally. Oh, I didn't mean to let go of that. I'm sorry. Bring it back. I want it back. Bring it back. Formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan re holds a remainder of twenty, almost twenty-five thousand dollars, with a sum of, excuse me, of um, thirty-five hundred payable by August first. Amount has been overdue since the, that date, and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments, or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the withstanding 3500 is received by 30, uh, August 30th, you will have no choice. Oh, we will have no choice but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. Please act accordingly. Oh. Damn, girl. Sucks.
Does she get a different premonition? Probably not. Alright, so she's motivated, relaxed, guarded, and selfish. Why would she be selfish? Eh, whatever. Um, I don't know if I would call her selfish with what we've seen so far. But uh, what, what's her relationship with Julia? Nothing. Come on. Alex. We've seen that. Brad. Nothing. Conrad. Yeah, she's not in... No, 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 Conrad. How about you not be a dick, Conrad? Uh, speedboats. He didn't take the bang stick on the dro on the dive. Okay. Wait. How's it going? Been knocked out by cold frosty. Oh, man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors. And theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Bear? What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy. Got lots of medals. I wanted to understand cool. what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Bear? Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Alright, let's check this door. Crate's updated. Relaxed. Not selfish. Relaxed. Altruistic. Guarded. Motivated. There we go. Oh, there's another picture. Uh-oh. Why do I keep these around? <laughs> wrong thing. Nope, still wrong thing. This thing. I'll view the premonition, please. Okay, interesting. 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 Anything over here? Nope, just that. Okay. All right. Real quick. Um, I'm going to... It's after 5 o'clock. I know I took a quick break earlier, but uh, I think it's time to take another quick break. Um, so uh, we'll be back in a bit.
right, and I'm back. Make sure I'm unmuted. I'm good. All right. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's go. Something over here. Oh, is she snooping? Oop. Sorry. Is she snooping or is this her actual cabin? Eau de parfum. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Hey, Rose, glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Shroud of Innocence by T.S. Hartley. Yeah, she's snooping. I feel like she's snooping. You're tired? Oh. Oh, oh. Look, there's a boat. I didn't finish my snooping. I took too long. What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, ten bucks cover it? No. <laughs> Whoops, my bad, let's make it twenty. How about you stop being a dick for once, Conrad? You, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. You're pissing him off, Conrad. Shut the... I'm with you. Here. Let's just throw in the whole pot. Stop being a dick, Conrad. Uh, how am I? I'm good. I'm good. A little sore. My back's not, a li not very happy with me. I think I slept weird, but... Um, I'm good. Welcome to Spookmas. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. To the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Conrad. Yep, I even double checked it. Oh, am I going to be playing as Julia now? Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh, Oop, another picture for another premonition. Let's go. No, it's not. Tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Yeah, not worth it. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. All right. Uh, she's cunning, excited, selfish, and generous. I don't think she's selfish yet. Um. Anything else to interact with? I mean. I'm 
just gonna go for it. I'm gonna regret this. I can feel it already. I'm gonna regret this. Well, she did a good job keeping herself, her breath cool. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. Well, that was my one chance. I don't like either of those options. Glad you're okay. Don't do that again, please. I wish Nod was one. Searched area one clear, searched area two clear, searched area three. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. Ooh, a bullet. All right, put it back. Ooh, a secret was found. All down the fuselage. <clears throat> I didn't pause. What the hell? Actually, I did. I think I bumped the button. But anyway. Braska, blink when he sees this. Oh, no. You were told. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold life boats. <coughs> yeah, that is pretty interesting. The boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Yeah, you're swimming in corpse water. He's holding something. Wow. What the hell? At least she put it here? back. I want to look at it again. Hmm. I wish there had names or something on it. broke her knife or his knife actually because he handed her the knife which means they're currently unarmed because he didn't bring his boomstick Not high on my list of 
place to perish. Uh oh. We gotta get out of here now. <gasps> oh God, Alex. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but. It's then, not. Don't. Know if it was the right don't. Time, but then it's no time. Right time? I, I, I don't. Yes. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I. I oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. I feel like none of those answers would have been... Yeah, Alex, sure. Wow. Why not? From what we've seen, they are pretty adorable. Why not? How's it end? Yes! Yes, I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> I'll marry the shit out of you. I wonder if they killed Conrad. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, yeah okay. Decompress, right. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Yeah. They didn't take the cash. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? A great many things. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's Dude, bro, it. congrats. I love Sean Ashmore so much. <laughs> Hello. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex little bit. and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. A little bit. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. Aww. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. An asshole, Maybe others might say. say. Arrogant. A uh, asshole. Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. It doesn't help that he's an asshole. Let me reassure you. You help them to I've unlocked this special feature. Value later on. You're doing well. <laughs> I'm doing well. I thank you for that. I like to have the uh fuck, what's it called? The edification. So 
10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball! meatball. <laughs> the ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you find the ring? <laughs> A lady never tells. Oh, Awkward. Okay. This lady was impressed. Uh, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Bliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Ooh, I'm a modern sort of man, but Honestly, I, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring, so but you're being romantic. So let them be romantic. Eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I've been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. They are hecking adorable. So worried you might say no. Can't wait for one of them to die in a horrible death. Um, as is horror genre tropes. Let's see here. I was surprised, you know. I kind of wasn't sure how to respond. Julia, is there something we need to talk about? Oh my gosh, Alex. I was just shook up from the plane falling apart around us. That's all. No biggie. Okay, cool, cool. I'll go find Brad and everybody. I mean, she did say something that would make any secure uh, person. No, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic at? You're not helping, Conrad. Family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with Joey Chen. Conrad, Beers, where are they? I love oh, her. Beers. I was just getting them now. Both women in this are absolutely fantastic. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Aww. Conwin Islands Air Rescue Service. These are some nice pictures, though. I'll leave it on that one because it's adorable, and I'm sappy as fuck. Uh, yeah, seems a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you, and we'll be fine. Hey. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. But I wanted to listen eavesdrop on your fucking conversation, man. Got it. Let's go up. How curiously nice of you to say, Rose. What do you want? Come here, you vixen. Whoa, calm yourself there, Major. man. We should get back. Yeah, I know. There's one big obstacle that's causing things to be delayed. I know, I heard the conversation last night. 
Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It's no. A couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? No. There was a flight plan. No, it's an actual day. genuine serious. Hold on. It's an actual genuine serious. It is not that either. It's. It's the same reason that my streams are limited to two days a week, mostly. And I don't remember if I've ever actually told you what that reason is. And I don't want to say it live on air. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, ex exactly. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Most ghost stories really are. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Not smooth, man. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Just yes, all the, the time. Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey. No backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Damn, dude. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. It's pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. 
Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read He's that? trying. The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten floor, good buddy. And I'm out. I'll guarantee that because I uh, dilly dallied on the deck with as Julia, I missed some stuff. Oh well. This game has a lot of replayability. Oh, excuse me, a lot of it. I'm really psyched to replay it on my own time. Oh shoot! That's right. Quick time events are a thing. You know, Conrad, this is why you aren't a dick to random people on 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 the in the world, like in general. Wait, was Brad there? I see Alex, Julia, and Conrad. Hold on a second. All right, there we go. But I don't, and Fliss, but I don't see Brad. Now. Rose, are you streaming tonight? Okay. I think so. Dude's bleeding from the head. Oh, is that the guy Conrad beamed in the face? Yeah, where's Brad? Brad is missing. Man, look at her go. I used to be that flexible. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I missed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Good news. Brad's not there. Get him, Fliss. Uh, fuck out. Uh, I 
I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. The bravado. He's a bit of a dick, but I mean, he's he's got a little bit of flair when being antagonized. I like it. Oh, Sean Ashmore, I love you. You're great. Slow down. Easy. Ooh. At least they didn't take the hole here. Back in place, man. Shush. Okay, I like him. <laughs> they haven't hit the list. But sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Is this my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take him by surprise. Assuming they do get Julia back. They're coming. Fuck. Motherfuckers. What did they want? Eight miles. The storm's eight miles away. We've been here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. Mm -mm. Who's got a gun? Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Damn, dude. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to find. 
like that, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seconds, seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Oops. Okay. Eager, generous, reckless, and witty. Yeah, uh, that tracks. Yeah. Am I, though? Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Man, I would have let him have a shirt or something. Yeah, I knew they'd find that eventually. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Well, that is a good place to call it. It is almost six o'clock. Um, I know we're only really just now getting to the good part, or at least seem to be getting to the good part, and I don't know really how much of the game is left, but um, that is where I'm going to call it, honestly. Um, so, yeah. Let me do this, and then do that. All right, so as I've said already in the stream, um, I, tomorrow should be Terraria with Yvonne B and Melador 219 and Blue. Um, we'll be uh, starting at 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time, 6 Eastern, etc. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, follow these amazing people up here. Check out my socials and everything down here. Um, Discord is in there as well, etc., etc., and um, beyond that, excuse me, remember that you matter, you are important, you are loved, and you deserve love. And you have to take care of yourself. And that means taking time off from things like streaming, social media, some friendships if they're a little bit more, less comfortable or whatever. Not quite toxic, but you know, not comfortable. There, There's... There are people that we're comfortable with. There are people that are toxic. And then in between, there are people who are like, yeah, I enjoy spending time with them. But I mean, you know, eh, sometimes I just can't, I can't feel it. So, you know. If you got anyone like that in your life, you don't have to, you know. So take time off from them if you need to as well. Um, so taking time off from things like that for your own mental health is a good thing. Because your physical and mental health both matter. Um, if you if you need them, or if anybody else needs them, if you or anybody you know, that's how I'll say it, um, need them, there are crisis resources available in my link tree. Um, 
They are for des- domestic violence, suicide prevention, substance abuse, and sexual assault. Um, as far as I know, they're only available in the States. So if you're outside the States, you'll probably have to search elsewhere. Um, but I'm pretty sure most places have them. Um, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay safe, get vaccine, social distance, etc. Be smart when with how we handle uh, social interactions during COVID-19. And have empathy, be kind, love yourself and everyone around you. And I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.